Hi, uh, in this lecture we are discussing about the Azure function. So this is a series of uh, tutorial for Azure functions. So in this we will be learning uh, the complete Azure function end to end. So Azure function is a serverless solution that allow you to write less code, maintain less infrastructure and save on cost. In a traditional application development, you will be developing the application and uh, deploy and maintain the server. So instead of worrying about deploying and maintaining servers, the cloud infrastructure provide all up-to-date resource need to keep your application running. So in addition, Azure function can return in multiple languages such as C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, type, uh, TypeScript, and Python. So we are going to learn introduction to Azure function, use case of Azure function, getting start with an Azure function. So a quick start of creating a C sharp function in Azure portal. So in many cases, Azure function integrate with an array of cloud service to provide a rich implementation. So we'll discuss how, uh, what are all the use case we can able to use with an Azure functions. So if you see here uh, with an Azure function, you can able to build a web API. So in this diagram, you can able to see an API is being built using a HTTP trigger function app. And that has been going to connect to a Cosmos DB and it is exposed by an uh, API management and it's been consumed by a uh, web app. So the second use case of uh, Azure function is for processing a file upload. So run a code when a file is upload or change in a blob storage. So in the below use case, so whenever there is a new file is being uploaded so in this case it can be an image so that trigger the azure functions azure function normally work in the form of trigger so the trigger for this azure function is the blob storage and then it's process the uh, image and uh, save that in an azure table and uh, and present it into a power bi and let's see the third use case so azure function can also be scheduled uh, using a cron job so the show function can schedule on every day at eight o'clock or nine o'clock so you can run uh, the azure function as part of the cron job so that's enough talking about the azure function so let's uh, go into the portal and see how to create your first azure function i am here in the azure portal in the search bar you can go and search for the function and you can see the function app select the function app and we are going to create a new function app from the azure portal so click on the create option here and you can select the subscription where you want to create the function app and i'm going to create a new resource group a resource group is nothing but a logical container where you will be keeping all your resource so let's name this uh, resource group as rg function app and you can publish your function app either as a form of code or a docker container i'm going to select the code as the option here and I'm going to select the runtime stack. And if you can see function app support multiple runtime stack like .NET, Node.js, Python, Java, PowerShell, Script, and list goes on. So I'm going to select the .NET and the version of .NET Core 6. And I'm going to select the region of East US. And you can select the operating system. So either Linux or Windows. I'm good with the Windows for this uh, plan. And you can select the plan type. So here the, the plan type, uh, what I'm selecting is the concept, consumption based serverless. This is the cheapest option. So you'll be charged only for when you are running your uh, function. So you'll not be charged if your function app is not processing. So assume a scenario that you have a cron job that need to be scheduled on every day, nine o'clock, and it will be going to be run for 15 minutes. So, and then you'll be charged for that 15 minutes. In a traditional way, you, you will be having a server and you, you need to uh, get the cost of that server for running 24 into seven. So that's an advantage and beauty of going into a function app. So if you want to see more about the plan and the scalability, you can click on this link so it can provide more details about the Azure function hosting options. And if you see here, the overall plan, these are all the different plans that Azure function of offer the consumption plan and the premium plan and the dedicated plan. 
and if you see these are all the hosting plan uh, either you can host the uh, Azure function app into an app service environment or into a Kubernetes or an uh, Azure Arc and these are all the operating system or the runtime which has been supported by the function app so you can go and read this uh, tutorial i will provide the link in the description of this video so now let's go and uh, uh, continue with our creation so click on the networking and if you want this function app need to be integrated to a uh, network a vnet then you need to have a ba basic or a standard or a premium so the uh, serverless will not support to integrate your function app with a network so now let's click on monitoring so here if you want to monitor the application so it will create an application insight so this is going to capture all your function app telemetric information and log and click on deployment so if you want to automate your deployment if you keep your function app code in any of the repository like git repo or an azure repo so you can automate the deployment using the deployment option here and the next is the tag so you can tag your application based upon your environment or a line of business and the finally i'm just going to review and create so there is a validation issue in the basic let's go and fix it so we need to name this function app so i'm just going to name this function app as tech feed 86 function app name need to be unique so it looks like function text field 86 is been already been taken so let's put a random number now it is been available so now let's go and review and create this function app so this time we are good actually the validation is being passed so let's create this function app All right, so our deployment is been completed now. If you go into the RG function app resource group, I can see two resources are created. One is an app service plan, and the other one is the application insight. Now let's go into the uh, our applications plan, app service plan. So in the apps, I can see a function app has been created. So now let's open this function app. And in the function app, you can able to create multiple functions. So in the function, you can see the option called functions in the left side panel. I'm going to select this function. And I'm going to create a new function. So let's click on the create option here in the portal. And you can see multiple option here develop in portal or you can develop the function app using a vs code or any other code editor like visual studio or intellij so for this demo we are going to create a function app using the portal and in the template we can see multiple options here uh, like http trigger time trigger Azure queue storage trigger, Azure service best trigger. So basically Azure function app have integrated with all the kind of resources. So uh, whenever there is a change into a storage account or a service best queue, so it can trigger a function app. So there is a list of uh, uh, trigger uh, and template available on this uh, template list. So I'm going to select the HTTP trigger for this uh, demo. And let's select that and click on create so now our function app has been creating and if you see our function app has been created successfully and if i click on the code and test in the left side panel I can see a sample function app has been created um, a http trigger function app has been created i can go and test and run this function app and if you see this function app is getting a http request and it's going to get the name from that request and it is basically going to return the same uh, hello name 
this HTTP if triggered function app executed successfully. So that is what is going to return us response from that. So now let's go and click on the test and run the function app here. And this is going to be the HTTP post. And if you see, this is the body. In the body, we are passing the name as Azure. So now let's go and run this function app. And you can see this function app is being successfully executed and you can see a 200 OK response and the response content hello Azure HTTP trigger function executed successfully. And if you want to take this endpoint and run to any of your uh, postman or in your application, so let's close this and open the HTTP function again. and get the function URL from here. And you can see this is the function URL and it is authenticating using a code. So this code is nothing but the function key. What you're seeing here in the left side, if you click on the function key. So this will restrict the anonymous access to your function. So whoever you share this function key can able to access your function. So now let's go to the code and test and get the function uh, URL. I'm going to copy this function URL and I'm going to use the postman to test the uh, HTTP endpoints. So in the postman, I'm doing, going to create a new get request. So here I'm going to enter the function app. So here, if you remember in the name is the, uh, the value it is expecting in the body. So in the name, I'm going to enter the value as tech feed. function app demo and let's click on send and if you see that we get the response back tech feed function app demo and this is a HTTP trigger executed successfully so that's all about this uh, basic introduction about the Azure function app so thanks for watching